in case five, whatever the fuck it is, to get on the roof. So I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Uh, like, I'll, I don't need it yet anyways because I've got two. So if I'm, I'm, if I'm at zero and I'm really, really, really desperate, I will go look for it. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to be that stupid. Um, what else can I talk about? I've, I've talked so much in this walkthrough. You guys are probably like, oh my god, shut up. Uh, but I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I just like talking. and This game gets pretty boring to watch unless there's someone talking. So, I mean, I, I can stop if you want In my when I stop playing this. You guys can be like, oh, in the next one, make sure you don't talk because you're an asshole and you sound like a dick too. So, just like, let me know, okay? Uh, there's no worries there. Uh, I won't be mad if you're like, you know what, just make a con like make a walkthrough without talking. That's completely fine with me. Um, the fuck? Oh, yeah, those pizza. It looked like a gigantic Oreo for a second. Um, but, yeah, just make sure you let guys let me know. I mean, if, if you want me to talk less, I can talk less. If you want me to just, like, I, the only reason I talk a lot now is because there's no cutscenes or anything, and... It just seems like it's the best idea to talk because it just gets boring to watch people walk around inside gigantic environments. Well, not really gigantic environments, but large environments like this. And uh, not have, like, no commentary whatsoever. And it just gets boring, especially when I'm not attacking all the zombies I see because I'm being conservative with my weapons because I don't have, like, the 12 slots in my inventory. I just want to keep the weapons that I have uh, for as long as I can because they're good weapons. Uh, but when I do get to, like, level 50 or something, uh, I, I will be less conservative. Oh, 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 yeah, you have to come here and get these yeah. Proto-Man's, Proto-Man boots, because clearly Capcom is making uh, a point here by saying, oh, you know what, we're going to make a Proto-Man. Oh, sorry, not a point, a, a reference by uh, making a Proto-Man outfit in this one because of the Mega Man suit in the last one. So uh, you can only wonder if Frank West is the main character in Dead Rising 3. Well... What what's gonna be? Oh yeah, this is uh, another thing you can use for PP. It's just slide down the slide and palisades. Pretty good, ten thousand PP. Pretty good. Uh, but you you have to wonder if they're going to continue this Easter egg kind of thing in uh, in uh, Dead Rising Three if Frank West is the main character. Nice. But I don't know who the main character would be in Dead Rising. Case I mean in Dead Rising Three because in Case West they were both equally as important. So the question is. Do you get to choose a character? Like, do you get two different char like choices? You get to play as Chuck or Frank, and then you have to level them both up to level 50, and it's kind of like that. I mean, I would love that. That would be pretty sweet, in my opinion, to have the choice to play as either one, and then each one of them has different abilities or specials and stuff, and then, like, uh, when they get to level 50... They're, like, invulnerable, <laughs> I guess. I don't even know. Uh, but they have, like, a special level 50 power. Oh, my God, looter. Um, seriously? Three hits with a battle axe? Come on. Um, but I think that would be pretty sweet to have. Uh, I could be wrong, though. Uh, some people will probably not like that. Oh, see, see? This, see, here, it dyed your, the sides of your hair. Uh, that's what I think is pretty cool. It dyed the sides of your hair. Not the mohawk itself, because it's set color. Um, I tried dyeing it blue once, and it didn't work, sadly. So this is the guy you have to get the Proto Man helmet from, and you can either get that by playing strip poker with him later on. I'm go I, at least I think that's what happens because uh, that's how you got the Knight helmet in Dead Rising Two. Hey, nice hat. And uh, yeah, so I honestly hope that in Dead Rising Three you get to have a choice of who you play as, and then you level them both up separately, uh, and they both have their own special ways of getting prestige points. Like uh, Frank has his camera uh, and. Uh, there's going to be an ambulance driving by, so I hope you guys can't hear it. Ooh, okay, maybe you guys did. And, like, Frank will have... or Sorry, Frank has the camera, and, like, maybe Chuck will have... Um, if you use his bike, he'll get, like, extra pre PP instead of, like... I don't even know. Why. So I'm, I've got extra time here, so I'm just going to go on to these and uh, work out, you know. Just play some LNFAO. I work out. That's so bad. That's such a bad reference. Uh, I'm sexy and I know it. Um, but anyways, yeah, I don't listen to a lot of that music, so if I get the references wrong, sorry. I just thought I'd say it. Uh, but yeah, so Kenneth is just beating the shit out of some zombies over there. I think a looter, because I see a flashlight. 
Uh, yep, yeah, I think he's getting beaten by a looter. But anyways, uh, just do all these treadmills. You'll get a thousand PP per each, and then when you're done, I think you get another an extra ten thousand, uh, which is pretty sweet. And yeah, that's all I can really say about that. But Dead, Th Dead Rising Three has a lot of potential in its uh, in store for it. Like, um, I, I really do want the the interchangeable characters because in case West. You were able to just be Chuck, and I, I, I would have rather have been Frank, but uh, I, I don't know what I could have said. I mean, I, I don't know what they could have done to change that around, but uh, it was just an add-on, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but if in a full-fledged game, I believe you should be able to be able, like, you should be able to choose who you are, especially if Frank West and Chuck Green are like continuing well, their uh, their um, aid with each other or aiding each other, so. I mean, uh, it just seems like a good idea. Uh, if you guys agree with me, leave it in the comment down below. If not, sorry. <laughs> really don't know what to say. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I guess as soon as I'm done case 1-4 and returning these guys, I'll just... Uh, see, you get an extra 10000 there. I'll just end up going uh, to eat dinner uh, because I think I've got, like, another 20 minutes before I finish this. Uh, well, not in the workout area. I just... I'm just assuming I'll get another call because of it's being day one and I haven't re really received any other calls, which is really weird. Um, I hope I'm not actually missing out on the survivors. It's quite odd for me. And uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you think of all the talking, because I like to talk. This is me talking at my, uh, well, me talking more than I used to in my other live pl commentaries, but uh, yeah. But it just sucks that I can't do the Gears of War 3 live commentary, which uh, really actually does piss me off because um, I was actually quite looking forward to it considering I had the, uh, I was at uh, Act 2, whatever, I forgot what it was, in on Insane Solo. And uh, that really pissed me off because uh, that's pretty hard to do uh, considering I suck at Gears of War 3. So, I mean, just having the live com ready and then just uploading it and having it say oh you have copyright issues you can't upload it that really pissed me off it was actually quite a bummer well, and uh, the fact like that the guy who's claiming the ownership of it doesn't even own the rights to it kind of pisses me off and I have fought him several times on different videos but YouTube is not responding with the dispute because he has to respond to these dispute orders and he's not responding because he's an asshole and I really do think he should be banned from YouTube because he's claiming all these things from for no reason. I mean, Xbox on, View TV. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling you out. Uh, your your claims on all these videos is really retarded, and I really hope that your sh your channel gets shut down because this is just ridiculous. You you don't even own the rights to it, and yet you're claiming you own video that I made, like legit I made, and you're uh, such an asshole. I actually hope he does watch this one day, so that he can like know that I'm calling him out. I really don't give a shit. I, I don't even know who he is, but he pisses me off. He really does. But, uh, yeah, so that's my little rant for the moment. And, uh, yeah, that's the reason I can't play Gears of War 3. Or, well, I can play it, I just can't post it. Well, I can. I just don't want to have those ads on my channel unless I'm getting paid for them. Because I don't want to help him get money. That's just stupid. Um, so as you can tell with my voice, it's getting a little tired. Because it's the most I've talked into a mic in, like... I don't know, two weeks. So it's uh, getting kind of strained for me. And as you can see here, they changed the back of that shell from water from the first one into uh, for the, to the Dead Rising 2 into a path to the Uranus Zone. So there is possibilities for more add-ons to like different areas here, I've noticed. And uh, yeah, I just like what they did. I like this game. It's really fun. I have a lot of fun with it. And uh, it's totally worth the $40. Um, I'm glad they didn't make it 60 60 would have been too much. But they made it the right price. They made the right decision. And uh, I'm, I couldn't be happier with the purchase I made. And uh, yeah, so Battlefield 3 is going to be coming out soon. Which means I'm going to have a lot more gameplay commentaries from that coming out soon.